Hey guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Oh my god, guys. This is nuts. This is absolutely bonkers. Mo Tuesday. <laughs> I can't believe it has returned, everybody. I got some crazy, I mean, this is literally crazy. My phone has been bing, 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 bing. It literally has just been buzzing off the hook all morning. And I got to tell you, it was worth the wait. Guys, 40th Anniversary Skeletor has finally received a retail release. Oh my God, this is exciting, guys. Let's take a deep dive into this and see exactly what was announced on Yotengo El Poder and Planet Eternia. Guys, this is crazy. Let's have a look. I want to thank everybody who's been sending me all these updates. Oh my gosh. My Instagram, my Twitter, everything has been going off the hook this morning. Guys, this is absolutely insane news. Huge thanks to Tony Olivero and, of course, Master Versal Toy Hunter on Instagram for sending me these pics. According to Master Versal Toy Hunter, the new Master Universe Skeletor Vintage Collection figure has been leaked, everybody. And the thing is, I'm not really sure this is a leak. It seems as if it just actually just showed up at certain retailers, apparently. Let's let's take a deep dive into this because this is crazy, everybody. Heading over to this post by Yotengo El Poder. If you haven't already subscribed to Yotengo El Poder, they cover everything Master Universe related and they are amazing content creators. Definitely give them a like and a follow. Tell them that Jay sent you. Oh my gosh, everybody. This is insane. Right here, right at the top. There he is, everybody. Skeletor, the evil despot, the lord of destruction from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive two-pack celebrating the Master Universe 40th anniversary. And now we finally get Skeletor in this new packaging. Could this possibly mean they're, they're introducing a brand new line of vintage collection toys? <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Let's check out what Yotengo El Poder had to say. According to them, a new line with the Masterverse Vintage Collection, which will recreate figures in the original style. What? What? Oh my gosh, come on. What was Motu Classics? This is crazy. Holy crap, everybody. This is insane. Let's take a deep dive into this because, oh my gosh, I'm literally tripping over my words here, guys. This is, this is nuts. This is crazy. Clicking on the image, there he is, Skeletor. Let's zoom in on this. There is the Masterverse packaging. Now, this is extremely similar to the original He-Man Masterverse packaging. The exploding rocks, the Masterverse symbol at the top. Everything seems to be a reflection of the He-Man figure, which was released not too long ago. Actually, it's been a couple of years now. But what is really noticeable is the window. Taking a look at the original He-Man release, we can see a few differences. Up at the top, it says 30 points of articulation, ages 6 plus, but the background is exactly the same. What really is distinguishable, the window which displays He-Man. Obviously, there's the 40th anniversary logo at the top corner of the window, but this is a much, much, much bigger window. We can see pretty much everything that comes with He-Man, his axe, his sword, his shield. And of course, we can see that wash, which everyone complained about, and thankfully, they fixed that before the final figure was released. His additional two hands, and of course, the Master Universe logo, the most powerful man of the universe. Going back to Skeletor now, there are a couple of differences. A, the window is much, much, much smaller. I mean, when you, when you compare the two, this one's just absolutely gigantic, whereas this one is completely subdued. It's literally, I would say, one-third the size of the original window. It's pretty striking when you really take a look at that. We do get a much better look at the Master Universe logo, which is a lot of fun, but reducing the size of the window, I wonder if they're trying to save money on packaging. I wonder if it's a environmental concern. There are a couple of things which are interesting in this release. Zooming in closer, we can actually see that only one accessory is actually visible in this window. The dark sort of power doesn't seem to be visible at all. But the big change in this packaging is of course vintage collection what are we looking at here guys does this mean we're going to be getting a brand new line of vintage collection inspired master universe masterverse toys oh my god i think this is what we've all been waiting for guys a return to something like master universe classics you know what i mean like something i guess would this would be seven inch scale figures that really really hit us in the nostalgia strings with a vintage collection, more closer to the toys, yet upgraded for 2024. And of course, with the newer style, bigger, buffer body type. I mean, come on. This is a very, very different body type than what we've been getting from the Masterverse figures right now. The chest is a bit puffed out. The shoulders are a bit wider. There's a lot more to take in here, and I'm so glad that they're releasing Skeletor. Finally, after the release of He-Man on the 40th anniversary edition, these two guys are going to look very, very handsome on our shelves. And of course, 
This is the first time we're seeing these two in action figure form since their release in the 40th anniversary 2-pack, which of course was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive back in 2022. This 2-pack was very sought after by collectors, and my friend David actually did me a solid and lined up for hours trying to get this 2-pack for me. And I do believe that this was the first time in a long time that people were actually able to go back to San Diego Comic-Con after the pandemic. And that made this even more significant in terms of its overall collectability. And for the longest time, around two years to be exact, we're getting another chance at getting Skeletor, the evil Lord of Destruction, alongside his counterpart, He-Man, as many fans have been clamoring for this missing link, Skeletor, to add to their collection, as many people were just not able to make it to San Diego Comic-Con that year. Let's take a closer look at Skeletor in this surprise release. There is Skeletor, the Lord of Destruction, in the proper colors, in the proper buck scale. I am so excited about this. Oh my god, you guys have no idea. I am going to be picking up this version of Skeletor immediately upon release. He comes with a Skeletor buck. Oh my gosh, he looks so appropriate appropriate now. The beefy body, the bigger arms, the legs, those traditional feet. Oh, he looks amazing. And actually looking at him now in a little bit of closer detail, there are a couple of things I'm going to mention in terms of his differences between this version and the SDCC exclusive version, but we'll get to that in a minute. He also comes with the dark sort of power. He has his Havoc Staff, which admittedly is Similar to Havoc Staffs we've received in the past, but this one looks amazing as well. And he does come with two additional swappable hands, a more open claw hand, and another fist. This is amazing, everybody. We're finally getting Skeletor into the collection with this newer upscaled buck. And looking at some of the additional features of this character, he does have a strap on the back where he can holster the Dark Sword of Power. I do love his overall color scheme. Here it seems a little bit more subdued, but trust me, when you get him in person, the blue is closer to this blue here rather than this more subdued blue, if people are worried about that. The Sword of Power looks amazing in his hand, and of course, I really do prefer this Sword of Power as it's much closer to a Filmation type of Sword of Power, which I really, really appreciate and love. Zooming in closer to his head, we can see that he has a lot of texture in the hood, and again, it's just more reminiscent of the original Skeletor face. It's even got the red eyes, which are very Alcala-inspired. I love it. His Havoc Staff, of course, is his signature weapon. And this is very much akin to the versions we've received already. And of course, this was the same version which was included in the original 40th Anniversary Edition of Skeletor. And Skeletor just would not be the same without his Havoc Staff. There are a few differences with this Skeletor versus the other Skeletor which we received in the 40th Anniversary Edition. First of all, his Bone Cross sigil on his chest, it's actually a single color. It's this nice metallic purplish hue, if you will. If we take a look at the glam shot for the 40th Anniversary Skeletor, we can see that there's actually a purple jewel embedded within the sigil. That is one of the biggest differences between these two figures, and will really help to identify which one is the 40th Anniversary Edition versus this brand new Vintage Collection Edition. Panning up to Skeletor's head, yep, that is the biggest difference between these two figures. The 40th Anniversary Edition has a movable mandible, whereas this version, no matter how hard I look, I think this actually might be a full head sculpt that does not have a movable jaw. Why they decided to go this way, I actually have no idea. But it really is hard to tell in these photos whether or not the mandible is movable. The more I look at it, the more I think that that's just a fully sculpted headpiece. Time will definitely tell whether or not this is the case, but as I'll demonstrate a little later, this seems to be another way to identify the differences between this Skeletor and the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive back in 2022. We're finally getting the 40th anniversary Skeletor, which a lot of people have been looking forward to. And it doesn't stop there, everybody. Our good friends over at Planet Eternia have also also posted something very, very interesting. Check it out, everybody. It appears that the backing card art for this figure has also been released on some retail sites in Germany. This is crazy. Heading over to Planet Eternia. Guys, definitely give Planet Eternia a like and a follow. I'll have a link in the description where you can read this article. They are a wonderful news resource for German Master Universe news. Give them a like and a follow. Tell them that Jay sent you. According to Planet Eternia, without prior announcement, another Master Universe version of Skeletor can be pre-ordered today. And it seems that a new sub-theme of Masterverse Toyline is also being launched with him. The name of Vintage Collection is emblazoned in large letters on the front of the packaging next to Masterverse and Master Universe lettering. And the back is obviously designed in the style of vintage figures. The illustration at the top is reminiscent of the vintage card back motif of Skeletor, while the action figure explanatory images at the bottom are imitated. This is awesome. Let's take a closer look 
at these images courtesy of xyrosshop.de. If you do a search for Masterverse, scrolling down a little bit from the top, you can find Skeletor just hiding out with all the other cool kids. There he is, everybody. Vintage Collection Skeletor for Masterverse, listed at 28.99 euros. And if we scroll through the photos, we can find out that there is a backing card image. Let's take a deeper dive into this. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh, everybody. There he is. And it really is a more vintage-inspired look for Skeletor's backing card art. This is crazy. We have the vintage style of the Master Universe Castle Grayskull. As it was sort of depicted in the Alcala comics, the more protruding skull, the colors, they all really befit that style. Skeletor looks amazing here with his glowing dark sword of power. I really love the animated look. It's so nostalgic and really throws me back to those days when I was a kid just admiring this artwork. I love that tradition that Mattel continues to put forward for these characters. It's amazing. Scrolling down further, the accessory chart. I love it. This, of course, is the international version, so it has multiple languages on the back. And the only information here is colors and decorations may vary in every additional language. But we can see the full pack out, Skeletor holding onto his dark power sword, and of course his Havoc staff. And then moving down further, we can actually see Stonework, which seems to belong to Castle Grayskull. Oh, I love it. Really reminiscent of the original packaging from Master Universe back in 1984. This is incredible, everybody. But it brings up so many new questions. Why was this dropped on random retail sites in Germany and different sites in South America? What is the vintage collection? And is this going to be a continual line or is it just for these two figures in general? Are more figures planned for this line like Beast Man, Tila, Man at Arms? The questions just keep mounting, but I think we can all rejoice in the fact that a possible new line the Vintage Collection, and I, for one, am excited to finally be getting Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction, the Vintage Collection version, into our collections. Mass Universe isn't going anywhere in 2024, guys. As a matter of fact, it's only getting stronger. Holy crap, everybody. I mean, two years later, two whole freaking years later, the Dark Despot, the Lord of Destruction, Skeletor, 40th Anniversary Edition, which was an SDCC exclusive at one point, has finally, finally been released. I mean, two years later, in 2024, it's finally happened. Now, there are a few, actually more than a few differences for this version of Skeletor versus the 40th anniversary Skeletor SDCC edition, which I think is going to make a lot of value collectors happy. As you guys know, I'm not a value collector, as you can see right here. <laughs> they are out of their package and just hanging out here. I love these two. Their new style, body, everything about them. As a matter of fact, why don't they just grab Skeletor here? And there he is, everybody. There is Skeletor from the 40th anniversary edition, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And there are a couple of differences here, which you can see right away. Now, the bone sigil is actually a different color, unlike what you saw in those glam shots. They are, it's closer to these little button colors right here, which is kind of like a metallic uh, um, purple, if you will. The inside of the, the jewel is actually a wonderful purple, um, almost like a lavender type of color, which is amazing as well. That will help differentiate this Skeletor from the general, the general retail release. It should also be mentioned that this is a movable mandible, as you can see here. You can actually move his, uh, he can open up his mouth just like that. That is going to be an interesting detail, which if what we're seeing on the pictures that are uh, currently circulating uh, on the retail sites uh, are to be believed, I think that this is going to be the big t sell the big uh, differentiator between the two, as this one has a movable mandible, and the other one appears to not have that movable mandible. I forgot to mention that his buck is a completely different. It is a much more beefier buck for uh, Skeletor, as well as it was for He-Man, and I think that this is the kind of style that a lot of people were hoping to get uh, for their original Skeletor, and now we're finally getting him in the Vintage Collection. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts about this brand new release for the Vintage Collection Skeletor? Are you guys excited about this new release as I am, because I'm literally freaking out? Are you guys really excited that the new version of Skeletor looks better, in your opinion, than the original releases that have been happening over the years? Or is this not what you're looking for for Skeletor? You actually prefer the versions of the Skeletors that have been released throughout the Masterverse run 
And this one is just something that you can pass by. And finally, are you guys interested in the vintage collection idea? And maybe, just maybe, Master Universe might be going back into a classic style, bringing out all of the original versions of the Master Universe from way back when, 1983 through 1987. And that's something I think all of us can really look forward to. Let me know those comments in the comment section below, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And if you did, please do leave us a like. It really does help us out. Man, this is crazy. It's an incredible week for Master Universe. And I just can't contain myself. So many great things come along the way. But there are way more news bites for toys today. As a matter of fact, guys, you should definitely check out this video, which talks about a release of a new toy, which I think a lot of us have actually been waiting for a long time. I'll see you guys there. Good journey. Geek Proud.